this week on The Fish Guys. You get to do much fishing, Evan? It's, uh, it's a hurl. Fish on! Oh, you got a mommy mate! Taco! Got him on a hurl! Got him on! Oh, triple! <laughs> triple! <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> this is awesome! Fish on, boys! What? He's a sailfish! Oh, got a sailfish! Oh, there he goes! There he goes! Oh, yeah! Oh, nice. And he's jumping! There he is! Oh! Oh! There he goes! There he goes! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Fish on, boys! Woo! It's a windy morning in Big Pine Key, but that isn't stopping Captains George and Lane. These conditions are perfect for getting on big pelagics such as billfish, mahi-mahi, and tunas. The guys are confident their 31-foot contender will handle the rough seas with ease, but an unexpected guest rocks the boat before they can leave the dock. That's Lane. Earl Burger Third here. Lane, nice to meet you. Likewise. Earl's my cousin. Second cousin. Yeah, second cousin. I didn't know we had a visitor today. He's not a visitor, he's family. He's cousin, he's family. No, I mean, I got, I was just, I was just, I wasn't expecting him. So, so fisherman, real good eater. What? Well, Y'all, yeah, yeah, you tell me, look at that. Get Runs along. in the family. You get along well yeah. there, boys. Little George gonna be a soccer player. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, as, as long as you can rag on him, we'll have a little bit of fun today, huh? Look good, feel good. Let's do it. I'm ready. Although the guys are fishing unfamiliar waters off Big Pine Key, offshore tactics remain the same regardless of location. Like George, predatory fish are motivated by their stomach. Sprays of bait on the surface and circling frigate birds are both great signs that a hungry pelagic fish is nearby. There he is right there, he's on him right there. So we got a bird working right here, just disappeared. He's probably down close to the water. This little black bird working right here. So we're in here tight to the reef and uh, looking for some, uh, I don't know, maybe a sailfish, a mahi-mahi, no telling. We got some live pilchards on, just plain hooks, just letting them swim around. And we're just figuring that this blackbird's on top of a fish. You get to do much fishing, Evan? It's, uh, it's Earl. It's Earl. I'm sorry, Earl. Yes, yeah, so I actually fish for a living. It's a big sport fish or something? Yes, sir. We work on a 68-foot enclosed bridge Viking. Whoo, that's, now that's fancy, huh? And then we got a uh, 32 contender. As the bait boat. As a dinghy. <laughs> That's a skiff. <laughs> Dinghy's a 32-foot contender. I'm tight, George. Amelia, what you got? You got a fish? It's Earl, man. I don't know what I got. I left my crystal oh. ball at home. Oh, you got a Maui Mai. They've been known to swim together now, Lane. If you can pick up a second one, that'd be good, because this looks like just enough tacos for George and I. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Oh, oh he's jumping. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's that's pretty. colorful. That's got to be the prettiest fish in the water, man. Woo. We're going to eat good tonight, boy. You want me to gaff this fish? Yeah, I think so. Every fish is a gaffer if you gaff it. Look how pretty, huh? That puppy is lit up. I genuinely oh. think that fish saw George, Yay. recognized him from the posters, and decided it was a bad idea to be near this boat. Hey! Coming to you, Lane. Oh, Don't this swing one. and miss. Well, I missed, man. You didn't even foul that one off. I did, I just tested. it. Take your time. It's a lot of pressure, George. Coming in. There it is. Woo! Right Woo! in the loin. That was a good part, huh? That was only your second try, man. That was good. What a beauty, huh? How many tacos we working with here? Oh man, that's, ooh, I'm gonna say 15, maybe 20. That's quite a few tacos. It didn't get, doesn't get much better than that when it's fresh though, huh? Why, what are so you doing? You, you think this is 20 tacos? I said maybe 15 or 16 tacos. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, you're not eating it now. Oh, I thought we'd cook it first. Uh, he's just, he's been known to eat fish head first, right out on the boat. Earl doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. That, that is a beauty though, good job, Earl. So a good one. That's it. All right. Oop. There you go. The Fish Guys is brought to you by Contender. 
legendary sport fishing boats. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Daiichi, world's sharpest hooks. Service Master Restore, restoring peace of mind. Big Pine Key in the Florida Keys. Man, you look really familiar. I just can't place where, you, where I know you're from. George, where do I know Ezekiel from? It's not Ezekiel, it's Earl, man. Earl, where do I know Earl from? I don't know. He gets around. Have I met him before? He I gets mean, around. You ever come to my house for a crawfish boil or something? Nah, but I think my cousin Ezekiel has. So what's your shirt say, Edison? It's, uh, it's Earl, it actually says, EB3 for Earl Bird III. EB3? Oh, man. And we got the old scribble marlin on the back. <laughs> like a four-year-old drew it, huh? Hey, I gotta get them pliers. Boy, that apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, huh? My dad used to always say the fruit don't fall too far from the cake. What kind of cake did y'all eat? Fruit cake. Fruit cake. To the moon! Dang, I Just already got bit! Up. Just blew them up! There's three mahis with them, I can see them. Here, walk underneath. Walk underneath, I'm Lane. underneath you, Lane. Oh, that's a big one. Just jumped him off. No. I'm off? I jumped him off. No, that was a good one. I just got bit. <laughs> we ate both of your baits. Lane, run up to the bow. Fish on. Get up to the bow. He's going <laughs> offshore. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Chaos. Absolute chaos. It's rocking, but I tell you, the fishing is phenomenal, and I don't think I've seen another boat out here all day. 31-foot contenders just eating this up. When you're thinking about staying home because it's too rough, don't do it. Go out there. You can't catch a fish from your couch, is the old saying. Nice. <laughs> Got him. Woo. Got him, dude. Taco. What? Yeah, there's a fiesta party gonna happen for you. Hey, this is a little bit different than fishing snook in the, in the bushes, right? Well, I would say so. Look at this. So fun this time of year, fishing the edge, man, with all these ballyhoos. They're almost sight fishing for pelagic fish. They are, in a yeah. sense. 100%, like you see them see him chasing baits and hey, just sprayed over there, George. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Yeah. Oh, right here. Right where that bird's yeah, at. Yeah, bird just hit something there. Let's go, let's go. Just wind it up real quick. Yeah, he's definitely on a fish. Hang on, guys. Yep. He's running in on this bird right now, he's on a fish. You can you see him right here. He's just kind of hovering above his head, so I'm trying to get the guy set up. We can get a shot on him. Got him. Oh. Got him? Oh, Fish Mahi on. right here, Mahi right here. Got him on, Earl. Got him on. You got the Maui Maui? That's right. He coming down to see you, George. Fish on. Fish on there, Earl. Dang. They must be thick. I'm going to catch one to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lane, why don't you come inside of me? Yeah, I'm going to have to. Thank you. Thank you. See old Mahi Mahi oh, shuffle, huh? Oh, triple! <laughs> triple! <laughs> Oh, nice. I got a big one. Hey, man, if you're here, who's driving the boat? I don't know. Oh, pulled him out. That's why we don't have nice things, Lane. I know. I just pulled the hook right out. I'm trying to lift him. Get another bait. There's more here. I decided to just let that one go. That was my dedication to the fishery there. I'd like to dedicate this one to tacos. Yeah, me too. Oh, jumper. I got one, I got a double. You got another one on? <laughs> we yeah. got you, man. Uh, We're back in the hunt. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. Putting on a show, George? Oh, this one's just going completely nutso. You know what, he's excited. You know why? No, Because he's gonna why. be part of the Mexican fiesta I'm gonna put on for oh, him. You invite him over for dinner? <laughs> yes. Enchiladas, tacos, burritos. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, what a jump, huh? That was aggressive. Nice. <laughs> Mount up. Woo! And that's a shot. I'm just gonna lay him over there real casual like. Yeah, he'll be good. He'll lay there. Yours is here. Go deep. Go deep. Stay late. Woo! There he is. Yeah! We're having an awesome day, yeah! Feel good, feel good. Taco time! It's taco time again. <laughs> this thing is pretty. 
Look at all them blue dots on mine. Isn't that cool? Mine's got Look at his. He's got some awesome ones. I know. That's a pretty fish there. Yeah. Let's Stay get these me. ice down, man. Let's get back on them. <laughs> Go to your home. Here, I got out here. Just throw them like that. And then and then push them and then and then go like that. All right, Lane, get them in there. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we destroyed Ooh. the. <laughs> hey, you got the brush? Uh, yes. Whew. So much easier to do now. Look at this. Look at this. Lane. Booyah! Look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, heck yeah. That's less cleaning we got to do when we get back to the dock. Hey, can you give me a couple sprays right there? Yeah, yeah, let me hook you up there. Nice. Much better. Yeah, Much there you better. go. Got Much you all better. cleaned up. Thank you. Earl. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You're good. I think you got it, bro. I think you got it. I wasn't having so much fun. I'd probably never fish with these guys again. All right, I'm tying the hook on. While in Big Pine Key, the guys drop by a local market where they meet Greg Daniels of Kudjo B. Greg and his wife, Donna, offer a variety of products made from honey and beeswax, including small batch single hive honey. This is a hive that we have on Geiger Key. Is it local honey? Very local, Geiger Key, mile marker uh, 11. You make the honey? The bees make the honey and I steal it from them. Nice. Can we come do it with you? You sure can. Really? You guys like to get into a beehive? Oh, you just try you just it. invite yourself to people's houses? Is that oh, the way things work? He could have said no. She probably is going to wish he did say no. Bees are vital to our food supply, pollinating some 130 crops in the U.S. alone. To stock up for winter, bees deposit nectar collected from flowering plants into a waxy comb where it ripens into honey. A single hive can produce up to 100 pounds a year, which can be safely eaten straight out of the hive. I think one went up your pant leg. Oh, you on my give leg. it a puff with the smoke down there. Be, be Dude, you won't go, go away. Lane, they're not even bothering you. And they said I didn't need pants. It'll be fine, Lane. Just You're good, Lane. You don't need pants. It's all You're good. You're lucky we gave you a veil. Yeah. <laughs> Every bottle of Kudjo Bee honey is extracted by hand and contains no additives, fillers, or flavorings. Small, single hive batches preserve the unique flavor of the honey like a bottle of fine wine from a prized vineyard. Well, Greg, thank you so much, man. That thank was, you. That was incredible. Yeah, thank you for, for all the honey. We appreciate that. And uh, you have a good one. How do I get out of here? Can I get at least one jar of honey? At the edge of the reef off Big Pine Key, Cousin Earl and the guys are on the hunt for hungry pelagic predators. Following the birds has put plenty of fish tacos on ice as Lane continues to rack his brain about a different bird. So Ernie, I'm still trying to figure this out, man. I don't know where I know you from. It's, uh, it's, it's Earl. You might know it, Ernie, but I'm, I'm Earl. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm not, I'm sorry, Earl. I tell you what, if you said the whole thing, it might be easier for you instead of just Earl if you say Earl Bird the Third. Earl Bird the Third. That's Earl got Bird a good ring to it. I think Who's, you remember that. And your daddy's the second? Yeah, so dad's Earl Bird Deuce, and then mom is actually Earl Bird the Fourth. Quattro, we call him. I figured it out. You work at the park, don't you? No, nah, I just go to the park a lot. I play some volleyball. But you don't have any kids, huh? I do not have any kids that I know about, but if you find one, my mother very desperately wants a grandchild. So if there's anybody out there that's got an extra grandkid, just let me know, because okay. Quattro's on the hunt. Fish on, boys. Got a bite. Something going got on him. here. Oh. There you go. There you go. Let him run. He's he's trying. He's about to take off. He's a sailfish. Oh, got a sailfish. Woo, woo. Look at that, boy. Tail walking. You used to dealing with these, Easton? It's, uh, it's Earl, and uh, we caught a couple of them, man. Hey, you gotta remind me it's Earl, please. I keep calling the wrong name. You, you know what? He, he, he's not—he's not a super sensitive guy, but I think—I think you're kind of wearing on him. 
I'm, I'm trying, Earl. I'm doing my best. Gonna come up? He's gonna there drop. He is. There he is. Yeah, nice. Got him. What nice. I'm gonna do, Bob? I mean, Lane. I'll get you up in the bow, and I'll just kind of nose you at him. Oh, he's gonna jump again. Come on, jump, baby, jump. Nice. There he is. Walking out there. He is dancing, Lane. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's jumping fun. again, jumping That's again. Fun. Coming back at us. You got a frisky one. Enjoy it, my man. He's probably 20 feet right, off the bow. What's on this thing, George? 20 pound? 15. 15 pound mono. Yeah. Old pin battle three going on right here. It's the combo rod. I mean, look at this thing. This thing's beautiful. It's all finesse fishing, Lane. Right next to the boat. Right there, right there. Oh, oh there he goes. There he goes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nice. Woo. Nice. And he's jumping. He might come again right here, right here. Jump, right here. Jump, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jumper. Boy, you got you got a jumper. I got an athletic one here. There he comes. Nice. Lane, did you know that the sailfish is the fastest swimming fish in the entire ocean? I did not know that. They clocked it at 68 miles per hour. 68? Holy smokes. Right there. Double lines. Three feet off the rod tip, George. All right. Want to walk him back, Earl? Yeah. It's definitely a team effort, huh? Double line at the tip. There it is. There it is. Show us your face. Nice. Nice. She's good to go. Hey, Woo! Oh boy, Lane. good job, Earl. Hey, baby. George, good yeah. job driving, man. You're my lucky charm, dude. Hey, look good feel, hey, good. Every time you're on the boat, I talk a little bit more like you, and we always catch a fish. <laughs> I mean. I don't see a dang thing wrong with that. No, no, not, not at all. The Fish Guys is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. Jefferson's Bourbon, transform corn to get bourbon, transform bourbon to get Jefferson's. Keys Deep, fish, dive, live. Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor. Swift, silent, secure. Booyah Clean, EPA Safer Choice and Direct Release Marine Cleaning Products. Well, what a great day of fishing, huh? That was Absolutely. a blast, that was a blast. Caught a sailfish, caught some mahi. Clean them things up, got the boat clean, cleaned up. That's it, that's it, we'll clean them up. And it's always great fishing with you too, cuz. Oh man, I enjoy it. We'll have to do it again. You know what? I've been thinking about it all day. I think I finally figured out that I don't know you. I was convinced we went to different high schools together. Yep, yep. Hey, if y'all want to just clean the boat up, I'll take care of these fish. Okay. Right. Yeah, 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 I brought, yeah, I brought uh, my Uncle Bubba's blade. Oh, nice. So, okay. Uncle Bubba's trusty blade. How you doing with that Bubba blade? Oh, we getting there. What is that? That ain't a Bubba blade. This is my Uncle Bubba's blade. From the 1950s? Maybe. Come on, here, look. Do yourself a favor, use that. This thing's way nicer, Lane. Is it a little sharper, I would imagine? Just around the edges. Yep. We're living good now. Let's head to the kitchen where Chef Cat and the guys prepare their favorite fan recipes. Brought to you by Bubba. Sharp on the water, now sharp in the kitchen. Today's dish comes from Steve Meyer of Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm gonna get you started on the sure. onions and the apples. You're gonna just start sauteing them with sauteing. the butter. And now you and I are gonna season our fish. I have the Cajun seasoning, so we're gonna give that a little bit of a season there. You go too on your side. Beautiful, I love it, I love it. Awesome. All right, Lane, that is looking great over here. We're gonna add, add some kajo. Kudja bee honey, honey. Yeah. fresh local honey. A nice drizzle. Oh, oh yeah. It's probably about two tablespoons. That. Sweet. Woo. Love it. Oh. Whoa. What? Hey, you can never have too much bourbon in anything. No, huh? not Jefferson's <laughs> Ocean, dude. You should see, it's got a little salty flavor. I think we're good, huh? The honey and the bourbon's all cooked yeah. down with the caramel yeah, onions so and good. apples. The seasoned fillets are seared until golden brown, about two to three minutes per side then served with the caramelized apples and onions for a surprisingly delicious meal. You know what I, I didn't think? expect it, what? but I love it. Mm. The bourbon glaze really is good. sweet. The caramelized onions, you can taste the butter, savory butter flavor. Tell you what, this is awesome, dude. 
it's pretty dang good. And I'll tell you what. I can't stop eating it. Cat, check us out, thefishguystv.com, and you can get a hold of Cat through the website. You can also get this recipe. It's, just do it, guys. You're going to love it. It's so good. It's definitely uh, worth it. I know. I need another bite, too. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Closed captioning and the cooking segment for the Fish Guys is brought to you by Bubba. Now offering a complete kitchen knife set featuring expertly crafted German steel. Bubba, water to plate. Be sure to check out thefishguystv.com to catch up on your favorite episodes, book a charter, and purchase exclusive Fish Guys apparel. And don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media site for behind the scenes access to the Fish Guys.